Today's Friday, it's Friday the 13th, yes. oh dear. Uh, 13th of January 2023 and we're in San Caliu and we're at the Martha Apartments, it's where Anita goes to her gym class, so she's going to the gym class, I'm going for a walk and we'll perhaps meet up a bit later. So you're not coming with me, okay, bye. Enjoy. See you later. Bye bye. We're in Son Caliu, which is very close to uh, Palma Nova. It's just a few minutes walk away. And uh, my first recollections of Son Caliu, some, I don't know, 30 something years ago, was coming here to a bar called Curtains. And it was run by Leapy Lee. Um, <laughs> I think Leapy Lee would probably rather forget Curtains Bar, but uh, uh, it was a place where he'd. He started, I don't know whether he started actually, but he uh, he had a bar there for some time. And uh, we went to visit one day. I think they've got some sort of a fair on of some sort he was uh, promoting. Anyway, uh, we still keep in touch with Leapy Lee and uh, he's no longer with Curtains Bar. We've moved on from that. Um, I'm just walking down, it's like the back street of Son Caliu, which is where we are now. And the reason for coming down here is um, his restaurants and bars and uh, it's uh, where we've come for for many many years um, we, we discovered this street I don't know how we discovered it probably from recommendations from friends but uh, it's a very good place it was a very good place to come for menus menus del del dia menus of the day great value and uh, there was a choice of different places that you can actually come from and uh, while well, it's changed a lot over the years the bars have all changed over the years some are still here some have gone i think most of them actually have have changed so the first one is bar molly's um, and most of these are open um, all through the year so uh, it's early in the morning let me just have a look yeah 11 o'clock and eaters gym class is due to start so don't expect to see lots of places open um, but a lot of bars just along this this parade here and also uh, across the road we've got Cas Canari which actually is for sale and the next one along is Zafron and uh, this is relatively new relatively new it's um, an Indian restaurant and uh, you can just see in the window there it's all boarded up at the moment they, they open up later on i think three course menu for 15 euros 95 and it's a really good indian so we we go there and really enjoy it it's another one of the bars here again lots of places end up with for sale signs whether they actually get sold or not i don't know and uh, the one next to that one which is uh, undergoing a little bit of work is Arches. This has been one of the great success stories um, of the COVID times. The, uh, yeah, lots of work going on at Arches. So, uh, but what they do there is great fish and chips. So Anita and I will come along and have uh, fish and chips there with uh, with our friends. Another bar, Florencia. And uh, there's, there's a lot of cars here, but there's usually fine parking. And just behind there is actually a car park, which is where we've parked today. And uh, it's just behind Maison Saint Caliu. Maison Saint Caliu being uh, another great restaurant for menus of the day. So, the bar is open. This is a Chinese restaurant and they've got vacations, they've got holidays for January. So, and the last one on this side is, uh, is another one that's up for sale. Um, so yeah, things have changed around here. We'll have to see uh, later on to see what places do end up opening up in the new year. Now, Anita's gone off to a gym class and uh, well, don't see that as being for me so I'm just going to have a little walk around and uh, go down towards the beach here in Son Caliu 
and it's actually quite a nice little sandy beach and uh, got lots of memories for me uh, from over the years because we used to come here with the children and uh, we used to bring friends and family who came to visit us they would come here and we'd go to the restaurant uh, have a menu del dia and then uh, walk down to the beach and the, the children could play around it is a residential area so a lot of the properties around here people that uh, live here uh, quite a few I think are also just holiday homes so uh, not maybe not lived in all through the year and I may have walked this way before but we tend to walk it the in the other direction so we're actually going a little bit clockwise today and I'm just going to cross over because there's a little road that goes down to the left there's a road that goes to the right and a road that goes to the left if you're driving around here just watch out for no entry signs and one-way signs because we do have plenty of those but this little road here no actual signpost that says anything to it. If we go down here, and if you're coming to Mallorca and you just fancy walking, you just have to try these roads. You know, you, Sometimes you'll end up at a dead end and nowhere to go. But then on other occasions, uh, you might find something which is really quite pretty or a bit of a surprise. So we are today. Somewhere quite pretty and maybe for some of you a little bit of a surprise. So we're down at a tiny little beach. Now this isn't the main Son Caliu beach but it is a nice little area. It's covered in seaweed at the moment but that will get removed so I'm not actually going to walk very much on the beach because it's probably going to be a bit squidgy. You see, there was no sign that said Playa, that said beach. And uh, you can walk around here, um, just going off that way, you can actually get onto that headland, and you may be able to see in the distance there's uh, someone fishing. Seems to be a very popular pastime at this time of the year. Just go and sit by the rocks and uh, cast your lines. And there is a boat uh, just anchored over there, just a small one. It is a bit rocky and uh, my memory serves me right. If you walk around there you do have to uh, be careful because you might get your feet wet. Um, but that is uh, quite a nice walk around that uh, headland there. And the sea's, well, pretty calm. Small waves just lapping against the seaweed there. And uh, there's a few clouds today, so we've been really lucky since we arrived back from the, uh, from from England um, that the weather has been really beautiful. Temperatures quite mild, uh, 18 degrees or, or so, and clear blue skies. So uh, the last couple of days we've really been enjoying those. Well, today it does feel equally mild. I don't think the temperature is any different, um, but we are seeing a few more clouds in the sky. And the, uh, the weather forecast is predicting over the weekend for a drop in temperatures. So we could find it a little bit cooler, going down to what perhaps is more normal, uh, which is really, I suppose, about 13, 14 degrees Celsius. And uh, well, I hope we just don't get any rain, um, but we'll see. It's, uh, it's a big weekend for fiestas. Uh, <laughs> you think we've just finished Christmas. Um, and here you finish Christmas and that leads straight on into the new year and you finish new year and that leads straight on to the three kings so it's a, little, a lot of fiestas around this time of the year but it doesn't end there because uh, starting really today I suppose and going all through next week are the uh, San Antonio fiestas all over the island I was looking in the uh, newspaper this morning, the Spanish newspaper, and all over the island there are lots of things going on. Um, mostly in the evening 
and mostly uh, a lot of things involving demons, um, giants, uh, big heads. <laughs> uh, these are like papiamashi big heads and uh, barbecues, lots of barbecues. So over the next week there will be lots of those going on all over the island and lots of fireworks and uh, corifox they're called. Uh, which can be quite entertaining, exciting and extremely dangerous. Um, but they'll be going on all over the island and we'll try and get one if we can, but uh, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to because um, they, they're quite a distance to drive and really don't want to be driving out too far in the evenings. So I'm going to make my way back to uh, the main beach of San Calio. I could walk around there, but you can see it's very rocky and... Uh, not very easy to walk on, much easier if I just walk back up here and then walk through the, uh, the little housing estate, if you want to call it that. Very quiet area. Uh, Son Caliu, this area of Son Caliu that we're in is very well known, a little bit, bit like Hanover where we live uh, for its uh, restaurants. Hanover where we live is um, a very popular destination for restaurants. We have some really nice restaurants within walking distance of our house. Um, here there are different sort of restaurants but uh, still some very good ones and uh, it's in walking distance of Palmanova. Oh, there is a sign that says beach there. Look, it's a little bit faded. I'm going to walk down here. And uh, Son Caliu does actually have a um, hotel and holiday accommodation in the form of apartments. So there is the main Son Caliu hotel nice hotel right on the beach and then uh, we've got these apartments uh, some of which are um, residential some of which are holiday apartments so if I just walk down right in front of us is the the main Son Caliu hotel you see, we haven't actually walked very far, but effectively we've walked around the headland. And just around here we've got some more uh, bars and cafes. But just here, we've got a little ramp that takes us down to the Son Caliu beach. So I've got it almost all to myself. So we've got here some bars and restaurants right on the beach. It's a sandy beach, but uh, the sand doesn't actually run down to the sea. You can see they've put this uh, decking down here. And uh, later on, <clears throat> as the season starts, uh, they all bring up here, which uh, will go out from, I guess, from here. And so there'll be a pier that goes out into the sea, and you can walk along. And the water's reasonably deep. It's probably deep enough to jump and dive in, but test it out first. Um, there's that boat we could see off there and the, the fishermen. So we were just around that headland. And it is, it's okay to walk around there. It's just a little bit rocky, but uh, so not for me and not for me today. And then we've got the apartments that uh, overlook in this little bay of, uh, of San Caliu. And we used to come here um, after having lunch in one of the 
the restaurants that I've just been showing to you and uh, the children would come and play on the beach. And there used to be, I can't see them anymore, but there used to be some swings and uh, things on the beach that the, the children would use. And there's no easy walk around this headland. Again, it's, uh, it's a bit rocky, a bit uneven, and uh, would be quite a scramble. So you can already see, hear Anita saying, oh, be careful, be careful. Or would that be you, Connie, saying, be careful? <laughs> um, so I'm not going to even, even attempt it, so uh, we'll just enjoy the views from here. So behind us, um, <clears throat> During the summer, I think it was last summer, we were, Anita and I came down here one evening and sat at the bar and it was just really a nice place to, to have an evening drink and uh, just look out over the, over the beach and over to the sea as it was going dusk. Just walk up the beach, so you can see there's lots of parasols which are still here, which is somewhat unusual. They usually take the parasols away, just leave the sticks or maybe not even the sticks. And uh, there's no beds here, obviously, at this time of the year. But uh, what I'm coming to now is the uh, the Hotel Saint Calieu and uh, the swimming pool area here, and uh, the main hotel behind. I can see the workers, the gardeners, in there. So, looks as though they're tidying the place up. Just need a little bit of a tidy up. I can see. I don't think the hotel is is open as such. So this is this would be the more the main entrance to the beach. I just went in one of the uh, little passageways that leads down to it, and uh, just here we can actually see some of the buildings that and uh, shops and bars. It's mainly bars actually, although there is a third age group, the Son Calieu pensioners association there. They do lots of things for pensioners here in Mallorca um, and most areas have got a little pensioners group. Tappers and cocktails, perhaps we need to try that, that's one we haven't tried but it's quite um, trendy. More tapas here. So places for us to have a little look at at some point. Um, but this on the left is the Hotel Son Caliu and uh, you can see if you can see through the windows there but uh, all the dust covers are out covering everything up um, so the hotel is closed. I'm not sure when it will be opening. Um, if you want to find out when things are opening you need to have a look on the Calvia notice board and Philip Blackburn is, uh, has a list uh, usually pinned to the top of the announcements page and uh, if you look down there he'll tell you when almost all of the hotels in this area going right through to Palmanova and Magaluf and beyond uh, he'll tell you when they're opening and uh, vast amounts of other information really admire him for the, the amount of time and effort he puts into uh, keeping everyone updated. So this is the, uh, the main entrance to the hotel. This is the Hotel Son Caliu, Spa, Oasis, Four Star Sup. Not sure what Sup means. Um, but this all along here is uh, part of the hotel and on this side is where the, the spa is. Again, people ask about what it's like staying at these hotels and I, I really don't know because I've never stayed at any of them. I may have visited some just to either visit people or this one in particular uh, we used to use for uh, when the children were doing modelling, so our children have been involved with modelling from an early age. Um, they used to model clothes for um, British catalogues or posters uh, 
photographers come here in Mallorca because of this wonderful light that we have. And uh, I was remarking with someone today about shadows. And the only reason we have shadows is because we've got brilliant sunlight and brilliant light. And uh, that's exactly what we have here. Brilliant sunshine, great light. It's great for videoing. It's why the videos look so much brighter than they do when uh, we make videos in the UK. Uh, seems always to be a little bit grey and a little bit darker there. And just on this side, coming crossing the road here, uh, children's playground, which I think we came here with Luna. Probably around about this time last year or a little bit later. And, uh, it's something I think Mallorca does really well. We have lots of these little parks around and it's somewhere where there's some seating for us people like me and it's also where uh, the children can be entertained. If I go swing around that way, that leads to Palma Nova and uh, well I'm going to take advantage of one of these benches have a little sit down and I brought my book along because I'm retired now I can do things like that so I was asked in uh, one of the comments uh, to tell us a, tell you a little bit about what uh, what sort of things um, I read and I must say that while I was teaching at school I really didn't feel as though I had time to read um, my reading was really all about school about chemistry about teaching and all of those sorts of things and really I couldn't uh, couldn't really have time didn't feel as though I had time to read novels but I've always enjoyed reading them and uh, usually during the holidays uh, particularly in the summer I would get a few books and uh, and read them but now I don't need to read all of those chemistry books I don't need to read all of those other things so I've got a little bit more time and um, this is uh, the sort of book that I like I think I've read nearly all of the Jack Reacher uh, series of books so this is uh, one of the newer ones um, that Lee Child is now writing with his brother Andrew Child and I have read one of these but I can't remember the names of them um, and uh, I did buy the latest one a hardback version of the latest one when we were in England uh, but uh, left that with my I did buy the the latest Jack Reacher book uh, the hardback one it's only just come out and uh, left that with my grandson, who's also a, an avid reader of the, the Jack Reacher series. So it's sort of action and adventure, that's the sort of thing. So uh, I've just started this one, and uh, oh, that'll keep me going. And I need to also read uh, similar sort of books, so we do have a similar taste in, in books. So maybe she can tell you a little bit more. She's much more of an avid reader than I am, and uh, she reads uh, a lot of books. So I'm going to sit down and have a little read of it. So I found myself a bench, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to spend half an hour reading my book. So thanks very much for watching. It is Friday the 13th and I'm not particularly keen on horror books, I'm not going to read any of those. Um, Friday the 13th, I suppose uh, for you in the UK you're saying oh it's unlucky and that sort of thing, but uh, not in Spain, it's not Friday the 13th that's the unlucky day, it's Tuesday the 13th and it's not Tuesday even though it is the 13th today so not an unlucky day for me so thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on our next video so bye for now bye